Panther Nation draft family. What's good with y'all, man? Welcome to my first full first round mock. I'm doing from the Jaguars to the Bucks, all the way through every single team. Uh, we got a lot of new viewers from uh, different teams, and I owe y'all this, okay? I owe y'all this. I'm a man of the people. So I'm going to give y'all this first uh, full first round mock draft, okay? So before we get into this, man, first of all, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. We got a ton of new subscribers. I uh, appreciate y'all support, uh, and I look forward to uh, giving y'all some good uh, content moving forward, all right? Uh, so before we get into this, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, get in these comments, let me know how I pick for your team. If you don't like it, let me know. How can I improve? Only way I can improve is if you let me know, because I don't know y'all squads like that, all right? Uh, and also, if you want to help the channel even further, go to manscaped.com, use the code PNP, and get 20% off plus free shipping. Again, that's 20% off plus free shipping using the code PMP. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. That's enough talking. All right, so we're into it. Uh, let's get it cracking. Uh, the the 49ers, the Dolphins, and the Eagles have all made moves yesterday um, while Zach Wilson was doing his pro day. And so I'm going to go ahead and simulate pick one through 32, uh, and we're going to make this thing happen, all right? I don't want to make this video too long, so let's go ahead and get it popping. All right, let's get this thing popping. We already know uh, what the Jaguars are going to do. They're going to take Trevor Lawrence. That's a no-brainer. Uh, number two, the Jets. I know I got a ton of Jets fans. They were watching the pro day yesterday, and I'm not going to disappoint you. Zach Wilson, number two overall. Easy peasy. All right, so this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets really interesting. The 49ers are on the board. They want a quarterback. They moved up for a reason. They're going to take a quarterback, and I think it's going to be Trey Lance. I really do. I think it's going to be Trey Lance. Listen, they traded up the timing is 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 um, it, you got to look at the timing. The timing is weird. You've done this before. Justin Fields had his pro day, so you you've already seen enough. You you already know what you want. You've seen Trey Lance, and you were, were, you you already know Zach Wilson is going to be it. So you're comfortable with either one of those guys. So I really honestly think that it's going to be Trey Lance is the guy that the 49ers are going to pick. So that's just me. They're going to take Trey Lance. All right. So for the the Falcons here. The Falcons have, it could go a, a multitude of ways here. The Falcons need a lot. They need an edge rusher. They need a cornerback. They need a guard. But they can also get their quarterback of the future. They can also go with the hometown guy. And that's going to be Justin Fields. I, I really think that the quarterbacks are going to go in the first four picks. Barring a trade, I think that Justin Fields is going to go to the Atlanta Falcons to supplant uh, Matt Ryan when he's done. Whenever he's done, it's not going to happen immediately. But whenever Matt Ryan starts to show those uh, signs of, of wearing down, Justin Fields is going to fit right in. All right. So uh, the Bengals. The Bengals, we already know what they need to do. Uh, best player available. They're going to go pin a Sewell. Uh, you got to protect Joe Burrow at all costs. Uh, that is not a problem. Now, the Dolphins. They have traded back with the, the, uh, the Eagles to go with pick six. And I think they're going to go here. I think they're going to go offensive lineman. And they're going to go uh, Rashawn Slater. That's just me personally. Uh, a lot of people have them going wide receiver. But I think they're going to go offensive line based on what I'm reading. I think offensive line is what they're going to go. And I think Rashawn Slater is the best uh, tackle available. And I think he's arguably uh, the best tackle uh, in the draft. So 1-2 with Penny Sewell. So I think that's where, where they're going to go. All right. So pick number seven. The Lions, they need a lot. But I think they have at BPA, they have the best wide receiver in the draft, and that's going to be Jamar Chase. And I'm going to go ahead and take Jamar Chase. I know they added Tyrell Williams. I know they added Brashad Perryman. But th listen, those guys aren't Jamar Chase. And he, no matter who the quarterback is, whether it's Jared Goff or somebody in the future, you're going to need to give him a weapon, and I think that's going to be Jamar Chase. So Jamar Chase to the Lions. All right, so the Panthers, that's my squad, my hometown boys. And and listen, if the, if the, if the draft fell like this, um, I really – strongly think the Panthers would trade back. They would trade back to get more picks. But given the way this draft has fell, given the way this draft has fell, I really think that they're going to go the best corner. I think we need a cornerback. Based off of free agent moves, cornerback is still a, gl still a glaring hole for the Panthers. So based off of this, I'm going to go Patrick Sertan at cornerback. But I honestly think that, th that we're going to trade back given this scenario with all the tackles gone. Uh, so uh, Patrick Sertan is the pick for the Panthers. Just my opinion. The Broncos need a quarterback. Uh, they're on the clock next. They need a quarterback, tackle, uh, interior offensive lineman, tackle, and um, defense tackle, and linebacker. But I think they're going to go best player available here, and I think that's going to be Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons, I think, is going to go to um, to the Broncos. Micah Parsons to the Broncos. Now, the Cowboys are on the clock. 
And I know I got a ton of Cowboys people. Uh, I got a, a lot of Cowboys followers right now. And I don't know where I don't know where y'all want me to go. I don't know where y'all want me to go. Uh, but y'all could use a tight end. Y'all could use a tight end. And you got one of the best tight ends available. I know a lot of y'all going to say we need a cornerback. And you're probably going to go J.C. Horn. I think J.C. Horn's staring you right in the face. That's a really good pick. I think he's arguably probably the best cornerback in the draft. You can argue it one way or the other. Uh, but I think with the best player available, Kyle Pitts, on the board, I think Kyle Pitts is going to go to the Cowboys. Uh, that's just me personally, all right? Uh, listen, let me know. Tear me up in the comments, man. Let me know <laughs> what y'all think, Cowboy fans. Let me know. All right, so now the Giants are on the board. They they had a, a really good free agency, probably one of the better uh, free agent classes uh, in the NFL. They uh, added Galladay, Odor Jackson, Kyle Rudolph, John Ross. They have a really good set, uh, Odori Jackson. They, they added a lot, a lot. So um, that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and, and uh, they, they they have man they could go guard. I think Elijah Vera Tucker is a guy that they that will help bolster because they, they had to let uh, Zettler walk. They let Zettler walk. So I think Elijah Vera Tucker, uh, the interior offensive lineman, is a guy uh, that that could really help bolster that offensive line. Just my opinion. You guys let me know in the comments section because you guys I was gonna go I was gonna go Waddle. But you guys picked up John Ross, and I think John Ross offers that speed as well. So I think uh, Vera Tucker is the way you guys are going to go. Eagles. Eagles are now on the clock at pick 12. Listen, they're going to go wide receiver. I think they're going to go wide receiver here. Best wide receiver available, and that's going to be, uh, man, I think they're going to go Waddle here. I think Waddle or Devonta Smith. I think it's a win-win, but I think they do need a wide receiver. They also need a linebacker. Uh, they need a cornerback. But I, they could go J.C. Horn too. Um, but I'm gonna go wide receiver for you're gonna you're gonna give um, you're gonna give uh, hurt some weapons here. So I'm gonna go Waddle to the Eagles. Eagles fans, let me know what y'all talking about here. I could I could have butchered that pick, but y'all let me know. Let me know. Chargers, Chargers fans, listen. This is a no brainer. Y'all need to go offensive lineman, uh, and I'm gonna go Christian Derisal. Easy. Uh, the best tackle available. You guys got to fix the offensive line. Protect my man, uh, Justin Herbert. Man, that needs to happen. Protect him. He needs some help. Y'all had the worst offensive line uh, last year, so um, y'all need to fix that, okay? All right, Vikings are on the clock. Oh, I got to pick Christian Darius out. My fault. Vikings are on the clock. Man, listen, they need an edge rusher, offensive tackle, guard. There's, it's a lot that they need, that they need, okay? A lot that they need. Um, and they could go Tevin Jenkins here. Uh, but they need an edge rusher, and I think one of the best edge rushers that just had his pro day, I think Quiddy Pay is going to go to the uh, the Vikings here. That's just my opinion. I think it's a slight reach given what's on the board. Uh, J.C. Horn is intriguing. They do need a cornerback. They do need a cornerback, um, I, but I think they're going to go edge rusher here, uh, and I think uh, it's going to be Quiddy Pay. Quiddy Pay. All right, so the the uh, – the Patriots are on the board. They need a quarterback. They need a cornerback. They need a wide receiver. Um, listen, give Cam some weapons. They need defensive tackle, edge rusher as well. Devonta Smith is still on the board. I don't know how he's still here. Uh, but I think Devonta Smith could be very intriguing uh, with the Patriots. They need to give my man Cam some more weapons. I think Devonta Smith is the pick. I could be wrong. Pass fans, y'all let me know. I'm going Devonta Smith there. And that's where we fall to. Uh, the Cardinals. The Cardinals is an easy pick for me. Uh, they need a cornerback, and it just so happened the, the the board fell to them to where they get one of the best cornerbacks in the draft, and they're going to go J.C. Horn. Easy pick there. Easy, easy. All right, so the Raiders are on the clock, man. They've, they've made themselves a lot of gaps here, um, especially on the offensive line. I think they're going to go best offensive lineman here, best offensive lineman on the, on the board. Uh, they did add, add they added a couple guys, especially on the defensive side, Yannick Ngakwe. Uh, they added Solomon Thomas. They added John Brown. Uh, listen, they, they but they did lose a bunch of, uh, excuse me, they lost a bunch of offensive line talent as well. Uh, and, and so I think they're going to go offensive lineman here. And I think it's going to be, uh, they, but they do also need a linebacker too, man. They need a linebacker. Ah, this is tough because they can go two ways. They can go Jeremiah Usu karamoa which I think is probably the best pick for them. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that. They need a linebacker, Jeremiah Owusu Karamoa uh, to uh, the uh, Raiders. All right, shout out to the Raiders. Dolphins are back on the clock. Dolphins are back on the clock. Um, and listen, I still think we, we picked up a tackle for him. We we picked up um, 
We picked up uh, Rashawn Slater for them. And they still, listen, what's what's on the board for them? They still need an edge rusher. They need a linebacker. So what's, what, do, what do we have available here? I think they could go Aziz Ojolare. I think that might be a good pickup for them. Um, there's still some intriguing linebacker prospects, intriguing edge, edge rusher pros, prospects. And I think they're going to go raw here. They, they, some of the raw raw talent here available. Uh, Jalen Phillips is there. Aziz Ojolare is intriguing. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Aziz Ojolare for the Dolphins. I think they have a nice little draft going on here. Moving on to the Washington football team. The football team needs a quarterback. They need a tackle. They need a linebacker. Uh, and listen, uh, they added some, some good things on the defense. They added William Jackson. They added uh, Curtis Samuel. They added Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, they add, uh, they lost uh, Ryan Anderson. They lost Ronald Darby. So they could use a cornerback here. Cornerback is something they could use. The Greg Newsom's on the board. Caleb Farley's still on the board. I think... I think they could go cornerback here. Now, I know they added William Jackson, but they could go cornerback. They could go interior offensive line. Um, hmm. Could go tight end. I think Tevin Jenkins is an interesting pick for them. Tevin Jenkins is a very interesting pick for them. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead. Tevin Jenkins, offensive lineman. Hey, build up that offensive line. I have no problem with them doing that. Listen, the Bears, listen, I know the Bears are mad right now. They, they are not happy with Tevin Jenkins going to uh, the Washington football team, but they lost. They lost some guys. They lost the cornerback. They lost Kyle Fuller. They lost uh, um, Roy Robertson, uh, Harris. They lost Ben Jarvis Mingo. So they need to. Add, they, they, I think they're going to stick stick to the defense here, and I think it's interesting. Uh, I think they're going to go cornerback. I think Greg Newsom right here, who has shot up boards. It, I know it seems like a risk, a, a, a reach here, a little bit of a reach, not not much. But I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Greg Newsom, Greg Newsom to uh, the to the Bears here. Greg Newsom to the Bears here. All right, so we got the Colts on the board next. Listen, the Colts looking at an edge rusher, looking at um, offensive tackle, looking at cornerback. Uh, and I think, you know, th there's a couple couple ways they could go here. Um, I think that they could go Bateman. Uh, listen, you got to start thinking about uh, T. I know they got T.Y. back, but you got to start thinking about life after T.Y. So I think Bateman is very interesting here. They also need an edge rusher. They could go in the raw talent and Jalen Phillips. And so I, I'm right now I'm between Bateman and Phillips, and I think they're going to go Bateman. I think they need they need to start thinking about life after T.Y. So Rashad Bateman, for me, is a good fit uh, for the Colts. Moving on to the Titans. Titans need an edge rusher. Uh, they need a wide receiver. They need a, a cornerback. They lost guys like uh, Jadavion Clowney. They lost a Dory Jackson. They lost uh, Corey Davis. They lost a lot. The, the Titans have lost a lot. And I think what, what's happening right here uh, is that you got a guy like Caleb Farley who has fell way down boards. He's fell way down boards. But you could essentially, uh, man, it's it's a risk. Uh, but I don't know, man. They they also looking at guys like Jalen Phillips. I think Jalen Phillips is a raw edge rusher, and they do well with those guys. Guys like Harold, Harold Landry, they've done well with those guys in the past. So I think I'm going to go. Man, but they did lose a lot of cornerback. They, they need a cornerback. They need a cornerback bad. So I think I'm going to go mm, Caleb Farley. I think Caleb Farley is a steal right here. Uh, for uh, the Titans, again, injury issues, injury concerns. You could think about going Stokes, but I think uh, I think Caleb Farley is a steal for the Titans at this point. All right, so the Jets are back on the board. The Jets are back on the board, and I think it's interesting. It's interesting here uh, because they could use a running back. They could actually actually use a running back. I think one of these running backs could help out um, your boy um, Zach Wilson. So um, listen, you can go wide receiver. Uh, you can go edge rusher. You can go cornerback, but I think running back. I think they're going to pair up, and I think they're going to go with the best running back available. Then they're going to go Najee Harris. Najee Harris in the first round to the Jets. I think that's a good pick. Uh, you help out, give give your, um, your your new franchise quarterback some weapons. So Najee Harris to the Jets. All right, so next up, we've got the Steelers. Steelers on deck. Steelers on deck. And listen, Steelers need a tackle. They need a running back. They need a quarterback. They need uh, a cornerback. They need a tight end as well, so it's a lot. Of, it's it's some interesting picks available here. Um, they did lose Bud Dupree. Uh, they did lose, uh, you know, a, a guard. Uh, excuse, they lost a guard. They lost uh, defensive lineman, interior defensive lineman. They lost some cornerback help. So they need a lot. They need a lot. But I think one inch, one interesting. You saw Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin was at this man's pro day, and I think there is no better scheme for this man to unlock his unlock his ability. 
And I think that's Jason Owe. Owe is an elite athlete, bro. And I think he's really going to be unlocked. They're going to unlock that edge ability in this man. And I think he stays at home. He stays in the state of, state of Pennsylvania. And I think it's a really good pick, uh, Jason Owe, to the Steelers. Next up, we got the Jaguars once again. Again, they have um, they have Trevor Lawrence. They have their franchise uh, quarterback. Now it, you may look, you may want to look to kind of kind of protect them a little bit. They got their quarterback. They need a safety. They need a tackle. They need a wide receiver, and they need a tight end. It's interesting. I think you may want to invest in, in protecting your, uh, your your investment, protecting Trevor Lawrence. I think they're going to go Samuel Cosme here. Samuel Cosme, left tackle. Uh, he's a bit raw, uh, but I think he could be. Uh, you pair him up with Trevor Lawrence, and I think you, you got to protect your investment. you got to protect Trevor Lawrence at all costs. We saw what happened to Joe Burrow uh, this year when, when the Bengals had a terrible offensive line. you got to protect him at all costs. Uh, so go ahead and get Samuel Cosme here. All right, so next up, we got the Browns. Browns are on the clock at pick 26. They need an edge rusher. Uh, they, I know they, they've added some guys. They added Malik Jackson. They added Tack McKinley. They added a lot on defense. They may want to start paying attention to the offensive side of the ball. And I think they can go. They got to start thinking about life after um, after uh, Odell Beckham and and Landry, because I, uh, I I don't think those guys are going to stay together very long. You got to start investing on the offensive side of the ball. I think they're going to go best wide receiver available, and that's going to be Terrence Marshall. You guys, let me know what you guys think about that. Browns fans, let me know what's up. Let me know what's up. Um, all right. So next up, we got the Ravens. The Ravens need a wide receiver really bad. They need a wide receiver really bad. They need to get some help. They lost guys like Ngakwe. They lost. Uh, edge rusher Matt Judon, so they they need an edge rusher too. They lost Mark Ingram. They lost uh, uh, Matt Sura, Skura, excuse me. But they did they added an offensive guard in Zettler. They added a safety, but I, they need a wide receiver. All right, cut the crap. Give my man Lamar Jackson some weapons, and I think the the one of the best weapons out there, and it might be a slight slight reach, but I think Kadarius Tony. I think Kadarius Tony to the Ravens is a good fit. Uh, and I think it's you. Listen, you got to give Lamar Jackson some help. He needs some help. Okay, get that man some help. Uh, all right. So moving on, moving on. We got the Saints. The Saints are on the clock. They need, they need a quarterback. They need a cornerback. Um, they need a lot. They, they need. They lost Sheldon Rankins. Uh, they lost Trey Henderson. They lost P.J. Williams. Uh, so I think they're gonna go. I think they want to go interior defensive line here with with the loss of Sheldon Rankins. I think they're gonna go. And listen, I don't. It's tough here, but I think Christian Barrymore is a really good pick. Kind of bolstered the interior of that defensive line. So I'm going to go Christian Barrymore to the Saints. To the Saints, all right? They could also win cornerback there. They could have went Stokes. Uh, Green Bay. Green Bay is on the clock. Green Bay is on the clock. They need a linebacker, cornerback, wide receiver. Uh, they lost Corey Lindley. Uh, Lindsley, excuse me. They lost uh, Christian Kirksey and Jamal Williams. Uh, so, listen, I think you're going to look at, uh, man, it's tough. It's tough. I think they, they could use another corner. Man, another cornerback would be crazy. Another, But uh, tackles, let's look at the tackles. Let's look at the tackles. You're looking at Eckenberg, Raddins. Um, I think I think that's where they're going to go. They could use another wide receiver too. Uh, but, man, I think I'm going to go tackle. And I think they're going to go Liam Eckenberg. Liam Eckenberg. Liam Eckenberg to the uh, Liam Eckenberg to Liam Eckenberg to the Packers. All right, next up we have the Bills. What do the Bills need? The Bills need an edge rusher. They need a cornerback. They need uh, interior offensive line help. They need a linebacker. They need defensive tackle. Listen, they added Emmanuel Sanders. They added uh, Mitch Trubisky. They added, you know, they but they did lose some guys. They lost a couple wide receivers. So I think wide receiver may be something that they they may look to uh, to pick up in the draft. This this this, uh, this draft class is really deep. Could we see Elijah Moore go in the first round? Could we see Elijah Moore go in the first round? I don't know, but it'd be a hell of a pick for them. It'd be a hell of a pick. Um, but but they need a cornerback. They need a cornerback, and I think they're gonna. Eric Stokes is gonna fall in their lap. So I'm gonna go Eric Stokes to the Bills. Eric Stokes to the Bills. Chiefs fans, Chiefs fans, I know y'all need offensive lineman help. So y'all gonna go best offensive lineman available, and that's gonna go. Uh, that's gonna be Dylan Raddins. Dylan Raddins to the Chiefs. Y'all need to fix that offensive line at all costs. Fix it. 
best offensive lineman available. Do it, whatever it takes. And the Bucks, they get to go BPA essentially. Uh, and listen, they could use an interior defensive lineman. Uh, and Sue and those guys ain't gonna be able to play forever. They could use an edge rusher. So I think they're gonna take the raw talent in Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips uh, is who they're gonna take in the first round. And shout out to Jalen Phillips. And so listen, that's gonna do it for my first round. That's gonna do it for my first round mock, guys. I know it was a bit chippy, a bit rocky at times. Uh, but listen, that's my first round mock. And let me know. Let me know what y'all think. If you're a fan of another team and you don't like your pick, let me know. I'll fix it the next time. I don't know all these teams. Do I'm doing some more research. Uh, so let me know if you don't like your pick. Get at me in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers by the draft. Let's make this thing happen. All right, I'm out. Peace.